Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and shine within your people here. Joyous light of heavenly glory, loving glow of God's own face, you who see creation's story, shine on every be with you all and also with you let us sing our thanks to God it is right to give God thanks and praise blessed are you creator of the universe from old you have led your people by night and day may the light of your Christ make our darkness bright for your word and your presence are the light of our pathways, and you are the light and life of all creation. Amen. Let my prayer rise up. 
May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Amen. Our scripture reading is from the 61st chapter of Isaiah, verses 1 through 4 and 8 to 11. Though the people had returned to Jerusalem from exile in Babylon, they continue to face hardship and oppression. In the language of the Jubilee year described in Leviticus 25, the prophet Isaiah, moved by the Spirit of God, announces deliverance for those who are oppressed and comfort for those who mourn. We read responsively. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord to display his glory. They shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations. For I, the Lord, love justice, I hate robbery and wrongdoing. I will faithfully give them their recompense, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants shall be known among the nations, and their offspring among the people. All who see them shall acknowledge that they are a people whom the Lord has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being shall exalt in my God. For he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom checks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up. So the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. <laughs> 